there was a lot of cuts uh, in the Department for Business uh, and indeed many other departments. And one of the things that we did in order to try to keep services but um, uh, cut back on expenditure was put a lot of the advice online. Wake Up To Business is your Get The Business Day Started program, coming from the country's top business shows, expos and networking events. Join us as we discuss today's business news, strategy and gain some tips from our panellists that might help you in your business today. Well, as I said uh, just a few moments ago, before we had to make this sudden edit, the uh, local MP turned up and he is now with me, Ed Davey. Thank you very much for joining us today on this program. And also Sue Rees is back with us, who of course is the organiser of Business Biscotti UK. We just had a really interesting discussion about some of the issues uh, to do with business. Um, one of the ones that you were raising was this whole aspect about communication, particularly for micro-businesses, for people that don't have the lobbying power. Can you just tell us a bit about what you said again? Yeah, I think one of the issues that I see, Ed, coming through very strongly through our community is that that communication channel that used to be in place from government into the SME and the micro sector just isn't there. So we've got a lot of people who are doing piecemeal bits of training and bits of advice and expertise but there's nothing that is coming down from government that's saying this is the place where you can get information on how to employ your first person. Because we used to have Biz, um, Business Link London didn't we and that turned into a health basically. Uh, well I, I think Sue is right and it's great well, to be here at, as well, at uh, Business Biscotti and I, I, I've really impressed by the organisation so if people haven't heard of Business Biscotti I think they should look it on the website no and, get, and, it, yeah. and get involved. Um, I think Sue's right though um, as part of the austerity measures as part of reducing the deficit there was a lot of cuts uh, in the department for business uh, and indeed many other departments and one of the things that we did in order to try to keep services but um, uh, cut back on expenditure was put a lot of uh, the advice online yeah. and through uh, helplines yeah. and that did remove unfortunately some of the business advisors who can actually go out and talk to people so yeah. I'm not surprised that's a, a problem. I think as the economy ticks up it needs to be a priority, yeah. we need to make sure that our messages are getting out and we need to advertise the advice that is there, I mean yeah. there's some really good advice I mean um, but is, it, is it that the business link model wasn't really effective? Because at the end of the day, you know, just like in any business, if you put money into it and you get a return on it, you're going to carry on doing it. So the Business Link London, I went along to quite a few of their events, but if the amount of money and time they were putting into training courses wasn't delivering the results, it wasn't well, worth doing it. Yeah, I mean, I think where one's got to target business advice mo more effectively. That's what I mean. And I think, it's got to work. Uh, yeah, as Business Biscotti has shown, using social media, using uh, the internet, can be incredibly effective for bringing people together. And I think we are moving in, let's face it, every business person is now internet savvy, has to be, to yeah, survive. Uh, and, and therefore, I think biz uh, government actually needs to be in that space more and more yeah. Yeah. with quality, but also helping people to find that, so it's got to be more, more manageable. 